What's up guys, and this is Nick with Play Slash Game, and welcome to my early morning stream of No Man's Sky. Um, I'm gonna be on for about an hour or so, so I figured I'd do an hour in, in the game, or an hour of uh, what exactly is entailed in No Man's Sky. So, I'm a little bit further in the game than, of course, the start. Uh, I was fiddling with how to properly and how to best stream this and I just basically got it all worked out and uh, so now I'm going to be going to put this up on Twitch and on my YouTube channel under the same name play slash game all right so I just landed here on my last save uh, there's two buildings I got this one and this one I'm gonna go and explore both of course um, I've got a different gun than you begin with, of course, and with quite a few slots, which is nice. Uh, I got a different ship that I uh, worked up to, and I got quite a few uh, slots in my inventory to hold things. Uh, now this planet is irradiated. Sometimes it uh, it uh, suffers from storms, which actually just basically bumps up the radiation and causes your suit to fail more quickly. So these guys are called Gek. They are the people who control this system. Actually, they've controlled the past two systems I've been in, I believe. And I know quite a bit of their language, but it still seems like I don't know enough. So let's find out what this guy wants here. He's a sail Gek, probably. Yeah, trader looks weak, but somehow cunning. It spins its data pad towards me, and I can see it's a multi-tool sales creature. The prices of its technology blueprints are low, however, eye-watering. The prices of its technology blueprints are, however, eye-watering. Kind of tired. I've been up all night. <laughs> Apparently, I can't read anymore. It eyes me with a wary interest, waiting to see if I'll bite. Well, you know, let's just pay the accepted. I have the credits to do so, and we'll see. Ah, he's delighted. And he emits an amazing scent. Apparently, oh, it's already known. Darn. Well, that sucks. Um, apparently, these creatures can emit a, a scent depending on their mood or depending on what they eat. There was another time where there was one of those kind of contextual things, and uh, it emitted a, uh, a terrible scent because of what it ate, not because it was angry but because it popped some sort of silicates in its mouth or whatever and ended up uh, smelling bad. Oh. Oh. I have a feeling you're a science geek. You must be exporter. No, you're... What the hell is with the glasses? Reward. Trader. Destroy something. Products and elements are pouring out of and into his own... Ah! He's trying to uh, embezzle and he's destroying the uh, evidence, I'm sure. That makes a proposition. Report crime. Get value customer or above. Mm, demand a share or demand all the stolen goods. Mm. Let's do be good. I'm going to report the crime. Reward. Oh, a shield boost. Cool. Shield duration and charge capacity is further improved. Good. Oh, there you. What kind of multi tool are you? Nine slots. I think my current one has that same amount. No, it has less than my current one. Okay. Let's sell our our crap that we don't need. Like the. Gra gra and the Gek Relic. I definitely keep plutonium on you. The last time I played this game now, it wasn't streaming it. I landed on a planet that I called Hades, which was uh, irradiated with all this stuff here, but apparently um, 
I don't remember it being irradiated. That was actually not an irradiated planet at all. I don't know why it's saying it was irradiated. This was suffering from, um, what was it? This one was suffering from, ah, there you go. Firestorms, low sentinels and stuff like that, but the, the actual storms would basically take out my protection within about a minute and a half. They were so intense, it was ridiculous. And I actually ran out of plutonium, and it was very rare on this planet, causing me to use a lot for my, uh, my, uh, multi-tool here, so I could use my ground burrower to make sure I didn't die. So, as long as, because, yeah, as long as you burrow into the ground far enough, you can actually recover your shields and hide from storms. But that also takes plutonium from the dwarf car. Or an isotope or some sort. Alright, so I go to the next one. Next place, we're gonna check that out. So so far we've only discovered three creatures on this planet. I haven't named any of them yet. But if anyone who comes into chat anyone uh, comes into chat and we'll uh, get you to name them. Let me know if you're here. Alright. Oh, I got 0% on my thrusters. I've been to that shelter before, I thought. Pretty sure I've been there and they're just telling me I haven't. There's a little bit of a glitch sometimes in the game too, where even though you've been somewhere, it won't show that you have been that place. Oh no, that's right, this is the actual shelter I was headed to when I found that other place. So along the way, I basically just found that outcropping of buildings. Which is pretty much how this game is. You can just run along a planet and you'll find something. Now, what's in here? Doesn't look like there's anything in here, it's just protection from the radiation. Oh, these are really nice to uh, use. Uh, oh, not that. I don't want to install tech. I want to craft tech. Because they will help you find things. I like to always go for transmissions. Because I'm always looking for a better ship, and sometimes these transmissions are damaged. Crash ships. And you can actually take those crash ships, repair them, and use them. So sometimes it's an easier way to get a larger ship. I've never found a larger one. I found ones right on par with what I had already had, um, because I have purchased multiple ships now. But if it was, if I had my original ship at the time of finding these other ones, I would have been able to switch and have a much larger hold. All right, who are you, Captain Jeff Jarmo? So something about a GAC something Federation base something has been expecting me it points to itself opens its arms wide and beams pleasantly it then points to me and mimes its concern for my safety it then pecks at my exosuit indicating that i could make my journey more bearable or that it could make my journey more bearable ah. request help with planet conditions that one was a little bit difficult on hades Gives me an exosuit technology blueprint. Already known. Shoot. I should have gone with the other one. I thought he was maybe going to give me actual tech. Maybe install something into my suit. Which is why I did that. Damn it. Oh well. <laughs> oh, hey, trader. I don't think I have anything to really trade. At this moment. Alright. Ooh, plutonium. I'm gonna get that because, of course, you can never have too much. Oh, we accomplished a milestone. Nice. What was that? Oh, is this a shield thing? Just odd to be shield. Nope. Okay. Here and go to that 
that beacon in there. I don't have enough launch fuel. Which is kind of why you need uh, plutonium a lot too. Because I find I use my ship a lot. Depending on how far things are, I may walk. But for the most part, I'm usually using my ship to jump between places. Now, if I see something interesting off in the distance, I may go investigate. But for the. Well, that was. That was uh, an interesting landing. I landed on the only bump out here. Okay. So. We're gonna go over this way. Let's see what we got. Gra gra. Chip. Let's activate this and see what we got around us. Is it gonna show me that? Shelter? Because I was just there. Alright, no, it's gonna show me another shelter. Now I did. Did I save that shelter? I don't think I did save at that shelter. So we do have to go back to it, unfortunately. back there, save as I require to, so that it gets it off my map, because also when you're in space, it will actually stay there, even though you're not on the same planet as the item, it will show you on another planet having to go up in space, to go on this planet to get it, so let's go over here, let's go quickly get this. Here and let's. I never changed the waypoint discoveries because these have got pretty interesting names already. They don't really need to be renamed. And plants, usually, I don't rename either unless it's a really interesting one. I just usually upload those myself um, as is. Oh, wait, what am I doing? My ship is back here. <laughs> Alright. Now we're gonna go to the next shelter. As you can see, it uses about 25% for this ship for liftoff, which will answer why I have fueling my thrusters. So I need to make sure I'm always mining plutonium. This shelter is a little distance away. So in this case, I definitely would have taken my ship anyways. Oh, you know what? Part of this game is exploring, so I would suggest if you actually do want to really enjoy this game, don't use your ship all the time. Use your ship in far away places. If it's going to take you 30 seconds to get to a place, walk to that place. You might find something interesting along the way. But if it's going to take you two minutes, well, that's a different story. I would take my ship at that point. If I see something on the way, I'll just stop. But sometimes you can't see it from up here, the creatures and stuff like that that you can find. The animals on the planet, you generally won't be able to see from this high up. Unless they're very large. Now, I have found some huge creatures in the past on my games. Alright, so, let's find out what we got in here. Apparently there's an advanced life form, probably a GAC, of course. Yep. Oh. Yo, dude. An underling. Let's see what he wants. Despair. Oh no. He's low on units. The life form sits in a foul smelling funk of its own creation. The trade screen behind it is empty, the equipment it carries is old and uncared for, and its suit barely looks airtight. There's one of those weather warnings, so now when I step outside the radiation will be more intense. 
So the demoralized trader looks up at me with hope in its eyes. Give unit. Gives me the last of its belongings. Ah, oh, life support module. Level three. Nice. Okay. Oh, what? What's that? I have a warp cell. Why am I keeping that there, and why am I not putting it inside my hyperdrive? Oh, because I'm not near my ship. Duh. I guess I built one and forgot to put it in there. Already known. Uh, oh, yeah. Experimental QL30. 12 slots. And mine only has 10. So it's got the plasma launcher. It's got the range booster 3. Doesn't have an analyzing visor. I can, no, I can't. It's got mining beam, mining beam intensity. Then it doesn't have a, oh, it has the bolt caster. Just gotta put an analyzer on it. It's got impact damage. It's got a lot of weapons stuff. Okay. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna accept that. Multi-tool requires some iron for an analyzing visor. Don't know why they're red. Anyways. Let's go over here and see if we stop. Pretty soon, I think we're going to be finished with this planet. We've been here for a little bit now. Last stop. Show you the way to another planet. waypoints here. Yeah. Let's see here. Okay. So I think this is the first planet in this, this system that I've actually checked out.
we're gonna go and see what Atlas wants. Oh wow, Atlas wants me to go far. Forget that, we're not going there yet. Well, we gotta go explore this abandoned building. I did not know that it was going to pop up when I went for a scan. My pulse engine fuel is almost out. There we go, and we're good. Oh, great. Okay. Where? Where's this Side elements. All right, well, let's go to this abandoned building and mine some oxide. Here. Should be very easy to find oxides around here. They're everywhere. All right, so we have a abandoned building here. Let's go check it out. Starship deflector shields needed oxide. I guess they auto repaired. Okay. So where the hell did I need the oxide in the first place? Oh crap, nope. Go back now. Okay, let's go check this out. Usually it's some sort of freaking goo that is taken over. Then we'll go, we'll land on a new planet. It's the goo. And after I land on that planet, that'll be it for now. So we're here. Oh, okay. Cargo 
Chrono Drop. Yeah, let's get this terminal. No, let's get this destroyed machinery. Already known coolant item. I was trying to build one on Hades, and I could not, because I, I didn't have one of the required blueprints. Now, you could go around this planet so much. Every planet is like that. Like, you could spend days on a single planet finding everything, which is why we're going to a new one. Because I don't want to spend days on the same planet, and I want to show you guys a new place. So let's find a new world out in space. Well, we'll go to this one way up here. Oh, that's going. We'll go quickly. Name our discoveries here. This will be. Striped Ram. Long striped ram. And this will be bird pig. Just cuz. Looks like a bird pig and a rabbit. Oh, wait a moment. What was that? This is like the scale. Scan the planet before I go down to see if I can find another one of those. Like another, see if it works to find a place to go. See if we get attacked again because apparently I must have. I think this corollium is pretty. Yeah, it's uh, pretty good. Pretty. Uh, they're pretty valuable. That's the word. Okay. Now before I was trying to get this extreme bigger. I don't have a gravitino ball. Which is required, but I don't even think I can build a Gravitino ball yet. I don't have the required blueprint to do so, no. Yeah, so it'll take a minute to do this. You may get scanned on the way, you may not. from the planet, from the, um, the sky, as you come in on the planet, you can generally, well, you can tell sometimes what it's going to be, not all the time. This one looks like it's probably going to be a very, either a very cloudy kind of jungle area, or a nice planet. I have never been on a nice planet yet, that would be interesting to try it. It's kind of green underneath there, so I'm thinking there's clouds. But we'll see, because we're coming in on it now. Oh, that looks more like an ice ball now than it did before. Not as icy as I thought. But she does have some ice. Oh, I was going to scan it. down.
a trading post. That's what that is. Alright, guys. So I'm gonna land here at this trading post. Powder snow, typical sentinels, high floor, lacking fauna. Oh, it's completely lacking, yeah. So, this place will have no creatures to discover. At all. Yo, dude. <laughs> Interesting hat. Okay. Friend, something gex, something federation. Give something. Chuckles and uh, clucks and gabbles as it steadies my equipment. It gently pecks exosuit with that my exosuit that show wear and tear. Then runs its gloved fingers across my multi tool, looking for irregularities and imperfections. Suddenly staring at me, squawks an offer and spins the tablet to show the cost of service. Okay. Last time I did the exosuit, it didn't work out. But this is now an inspection. I'll do it. Okay. Give me a new blueprint that I don't have, but again, I need a Graptino ball. Which I don't have. Maybe. Can I get a Graptino ball from this outpost? Buy items. I get a gravitino ball. Nope, but this sounds familiar, like aquasphere, like I needed it for something. But I don't know. So let's sell the two charms and shit I have. Alright guys, so that's where we're going to end for now. Thank you for joining me in my stream, and uh, I will talk to you guys later, and until next time, this is Nick from Poise Watch Game. Have a great day.